Welcome to the Thesis Toolbox series, Unlocking Skills and Strategies. This series aims to guide and support students through the different parts of the thesis process. And today we will have a look at the literature review process. So what is a literature review and why do you need to write one? You're not the first to investigate your topic. So in order to fit your research into the wider scholarly conversation, you need to be aware of what others have written on your thesis topic. A literature review looks at the overview of published information in a particular subject area and identifies key arguments and opinions. So to some extent, the literature review summarises the literature, but crucially, it should provide a synthesis of the literature. This is part of your opportunity for you to tell your story on your thesis topic, building on the themes and arguments of the current literature and producing your own unique analysis and investigation around your topic. The process of reviewing the literature in the field will help you identify where the gaps are in the research so far, what people are not talking about. Your synthesis of the literature will help you identify how you can go about filling those gaps. See what types of methodologies are being used around your research topic. Are they quantitative or qualitative and what kinds of methods might best fill those gaps? Scoping or reviewing the current literature will give you a place to start establishing context and it will provide a foundation to the research project. It helps to demonstrate your knowledge and understanding of the subject area and places your topic in context. You will want to do a comprehensive search of key literature that relates to your research area and to be systematic and rigorous. And to summarise, your aim is to identify gaps in the subject area and not just to summarise, but to synthesise the trends into an argument. Let's have a look now at stages in writing a literature review. The stages of the literature review will most likely cycle as you produce the finalised review. So you might prepare and plan, uh, read some literature, write based on that literature, and then perhaps return again to prepare and plan again before further searching for more literature to read and incorporate. In the initial planning stages of your literature review, take some time to consider what you will be looking for and the purpose of the literature review. While you will be aiming to be rigorous in your search, you want to carefully consider the necessary scope of your review. Some questions to ask yourself at this point are, where are you going to start? How will you decide what to read? How will you choose your materials? How will you keep track of your reading? And are you going to use a reference management tool like EndNote? Consider what the final review will look like and take a look at some sample literature reviews, ideally from your own department. Then you'll move on to actually delving into some literature in depth. In order for your writing to reflect strong critical analysis, you need to evaluate the sources. For each source you are reviewing, ask yourself these questions. What are the key terms and concepts? How relevant is this article to my specific topic? What are the major relationships, trends and patterns? How has this author structured the arguments? How authoritative and credible is this source? What are the differences and similarities between the sources? And are there any gaps in the literature that require further study? Let's go over some other strategies to consider as you read. Paying attention to authors that crop up regularly in bibliographies will help you identify experts in a field. A controversial opinion may also be frequently cited and refuted. Take note as you review a source of who the author is, what their professional or academic background is, to ensure you are investing your time wisely in reading that source in depth and to help you contextualize and synthesize their arguments. With the exception of some core seminal works, you are predominantly going to want to be looking at recently published literature, with some exceptions depending on your field. Make note of what authors agree or disagree on to identify contrasting opinions. You may want to take a stance on these opinions or identify areas that will be addressed by your research. And remember to take particular note of recommendations and findings to see what gaps other people have already identified in the literature and what they consider that their research may not have covered so you can pick up on the questions that have arisen during other people's research. 
Finally, you are going to enter the writing stage of your literature review. As librarians, we can certainly help you with this process, especially in terms of uh, referencing and reference management. And of course, we are always here to help you with planning and strategizing your searches for information. But for more detailed support on the actual writing process, we would advise that you turn to the Writing Centre, which provides expert student support in writing throughout semester one and semester two.